What is pleural thickening and how does it relate to pleural effusion? Have you ever wondered about the conditions that affect our lungs and breathing? One important topic is pleural thickening, which refers to the scarring and thickening of the pleura. The pleura is a thin membrane that lines the chest cavity and covers the lungs. It has two layers, the visceral pleura, which is attached to the lungs, and the parietal pleura, which is attached to the chest wall. Between these layers is the pleural space, which contains fluid that allows the lungs to move smoothly during breathing. Pleural thickening can occur due to various reasons. Common causes include exposure to asbestos, infections like tuberculosis, injuries, and certain diseases such as pneumonia. When the pleura becomes thickened, it can lead to symptoms like chest pain, difficulty breathing, and restricted lung expansion. This thickening often results from chronic inflammation or scarring, which can narrow the pleural space and impair lung function. In some cases, pleural thickening is linked to more serious conditions, such as mesothelioma, a rare cancer of the pleura. Now let's talk about pleural effusion. This condition occurs when excess fluid accumulates in the pleural space. The causes of pleural effusion can vary widely and include infections, injuries, cancer, and heart failure. Similar to pleural thickening, pleural effusion can lead to symptoms such as shortness of breath and chest pain. The relationship between pleural thickening and pleural effusion is quite significant. Pleural effusion can sometimes occur before pleural thickening develops. For example, if someone has repeated pleural effusions, the chronic inflammation and scarring from these effusions can eventually lead to pleural thickening over time. In the field of first responders medicine, recognizing the symptoms of both pleural thickening and pleural effusion is crucial. If someone presents with difficulty breathing or chest pain, it is essential to seek immediate medical evaluation. Early diagnosis and management can greatly improve outcomes for patients experiencing these conditions. Understanding these relationships helps in providing effective care and ensuring that patients receive the treatment they need. Always remember, if you have concerns about your health, consulting a healthcare professional is the best course of action.